Hello everyone, Thranks is here and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, episode 46, where there's quite a lot of things we need to do. So, a lot of good advice in the comments, and the one that I want to do first is to get some of this sleet wheat out of our refrigerators. Now, what I was doing was setting up uh, these bins down here, what, some of these to hold sleet wheat? Right, this one at a higher priority and these will hold uh, frost buns at a low priority as overflow which will help us get our surplus of food up um but what it was said in the comments was you can't toggle off sleet wheat from the cooking ingredient tab and as long as you have cooking ingredient checked it will store sleet wheat but if we uncheck it and then just check pinch of pepper it shows a dot here meaning that it can no longer store sleet wheat so we're gonna go ahead and do that with all of these because i don't want any sleet wheat actually stored in here and there's a reason for that besides the fact that it's filling up all of our inventory is that the cooking stations have an internal capacity of sleet wheat grain anyways and there makes no sense to have it here in the fridge if these uh, cooking stations are already full of it plus it can stay in here and it doesn't hurt anything because in here it's refrigerated so this should be just frost buns frost buns bristle berries where was the bristle berries in here yep frost bun frost bun okay we got to get that mopped up. Now, next is the lighting. Okay, so. The lighting, I've been giving it a lot of thought. And while it seemed like an elegant solution to just piggyback off of these circuits that were already in this area, I don't like it now. So we're going to pull those wires back, and the reason I don't like it is because we want to run thermal switches for each floor to gauge the temp. So that's going to be fun and interesting. And I think what we'll do is we'll pull right off of this wire. Truth be told. Okay, let's go ahead and start letting time advance now. So this wire is going to come up here, nope, up here, and down here, okay. And then we're going to have these wire bridges that come off of it, like so. And then these are kind of, uh, well, this one has to be down here. So we'll run it like that, and the thermo switch will put here because and the reason I'm putting the thermo switches here is because this area is colder and if this area stays at 20 then that area should definitely be in the 20 zone same here we're gonna do a thermo switch here and a thermo switch here okay now this one actually can go from here which I'm not sure why it didn't because as long as this one can run in the tiles, we're going to run it in the tiles. Let's go ahead and cancel this build, and we'll put the wire bridge just like that. And in fact, we'll put this one here. Cancel that one. This wire can start to run here. Cancel, cancel. All right, so this wire can start to run here, and then it's going to have to... Hmm going to be tricky with the wire bridge because just like that it's all these lights and this one it's going to have to wire bridge down there like that at which point it can come up here like that so let's see wire bridge there for you and I don't believe I can I can place the wire bridge directly on there like that I wasn't sure if I could or not okay well that changes 
That changes a little bit of how I wanted to do that. I guess I should have checked that first. I assumed I couldn't wire bridge directly onto a, um, a light, but I, I guess you can. So if that's the case, then we'll be able to... Uh, no, not the wire, the bridge. Cancel, okay. So we'll put a wire bridge right on the lights then. If we can, why not? Why not there like that, there, there, okay, good. Well, that's being done. Assessing the temperature, things are going to start to get cold very fast. Even the oxygen itself, if you look, is now traveling through the pipes at about 35 to 39 degrees. So it's already lost about 10 degrees, and I suspect it will continue. So one of the things we're going to do is we're going to get rid of our Weeswort plants here. We're going to rely on this warm oxygen to actually help keep things from getting incredibly cold. So let's go ahead and get more statues down. Then we'll free this oxygen from its bottle here. Excellent. Okay. And these are getting all piped in. Wonderful. So if this is below... 21, we'll, we'll call it 21.3. Sure, if this is below 21.3, then turn it on. Same here, if below... Oh, almost, there we go, 21.3, okay. And that should get all of our lights situated. Frost buns being delivered. Bristleberry pinch of pepper nut. All right, so let's make sure nobody is allowed to eat the stuffed berries yet. Yep, good. Because that is going to be special reward stuff. So let's start with some stuffed berries. Let's make a few. Okay, we don't have enough for that. Um, and then frost buns we'll make continuously. Perfect. We got all the CO2 drained out of there. That's sealed off. Let's, uh, let's finish sealing all this off here. Um, granite is fine for there, but I want abyssalite insulated tiles there. And then what, you guys are going to have to climb up here to get to that one, that's fine. Down here we'll do the same thing, I think this one's ready to be sealed off. Yes, it is, wonderful. We'll just seal off all that heat, keep it trapped inside so we don't start melting things. Oh, we're already already changing the temperature in here just with that heat passing through these doors this area is really hot now that the um this geyser is yep the water's 80 degrees in there rotten frost bun but there should be plenty of storage for frost buns what is this polluted dirt you can go to a seven i want all polluted dirt swept up right away like right away What is this? Water? Um, okay. M mop it up. And let's sweep this up. Rot pile. Yeah, that's fine. Frost buns laying all over the place. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, you can hold frost buns. There's no reason for the um, stuffed berries to just be laying on the floor going bad. Can we sweep those up, please? Please, they should they should be going in here. Bristle berry, stuffed berries, please. Thank you very much, GG. Um, why is this art not being done? Oh, this stuff is all sorts of throttled back. Well, let's go ahead and get it fixed. Decor is looking pretty marvelous. Pretty marvelous indeed. Okay, so why are these not on here? Um, actually, no, if it's above... If 
If it's below... Why is it not? <laughs> I'm like, that, sh that should work! Wait a second! Yep, we just need one little bit of scaffolding over there. Okay. Feeling pretty good. Um, How are we doing here with these? Good yield. Good yield. Good, good, good. Excellent. Right on the cusp of excellent. Not quite. Because it's not within standard temperature. But we do have standard pressure at least. There we go. Boom! Let there be light. Okay, now... Let's go ahead and... Um... Let's move these hatches. We want to do more living areas over here. And we're going to do a dining facility. What, this wire still got room on it, right? And it is pulled off of a transformer. Good. Good, good, good. Ooh, it's getting cold in here, though. Oh, my. Oh, my, it's getting cold. So, um... Yeah. I think we need to replace these lights with Wolframite lights. At first, I thought copper would be fine, but we're really going to need this heat. And Wolframite passes the heat faster, so let's let's get that in place. We've got the wiring and the thermo switches. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll sweep up all of this. Get those destroyed. Very good. Okay, ceiling lamp out of Wolframite. There we go. Much better. Should have done just done that the first time. I had the thought, and I was like, maybe, maybe we should do it out of Wolframite. Should have listened to my gut. Now it might not be the biggest difference. I mean, I don't know. There's a pretty huge difference between the thermal conductivity rating between copper and wolframite. It's pretty significant. I would expect it has some sort of benefit. All right, let's let's get all this stuff in here swept so that everybody hangs out eating that stuff over there, please. Let's give ourselves a door and a tile, please. I don't even know if we're going to keep many of these hatches around. Let's deconstruct these. And sweep up all that coal, please. It's just going to be luck of the draw how many of them we get over there when the door is built. Although it would be really nice if people would do that like now and sweep this up first. Oh, they're doing the Wolframite lights. I know. Go ahead and build it. Yeah, of course. And they're all on this side. Okay, open it. And sweep again. Get all this coal up. Nobody's going to open the door. Alright, and set it to auto. Quick, hurry! Hurry! No. We're going to have to give them some place over here where they can, they can hunker down for the night. Alright, so here's what we'll do. We'll open this, and then we will deconstruct... Right into there. Food is decayed, rotten frost bun, that's fine. Now let's let's get all this up. But most importantly, 
let's dig this pocket out so they have a place to go to sleep. We don't really care about them as much anymore. I just hate to kill them because we did so much work to get them together. All right, all the Wolframite lights are in. How are we doing with temps? Yeah, we're we're treading treading water here. Keeping it in the 20s. So far, so good. That water is coming in pretty hot, or pretty cold, though. How's it working down here? It's doing pretty good. So, what's the water at down here? 17 degrees. That's that's pretty, that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, time for another duplicant. Um, medicine tinkering. Cooking, digging, strength. Mm. Yeah, sure. Sure, why not? I don't have my list of names, but we'll make sure we get when, with HR. Find out who you're really supposed to be. Okay, so now all 32 beds are spoken for. So we know our system can produce about 2,000 kilograms of oxygen, and we're removing about 1,770. So I think 32 duplicates is going to pretty much peak out with this oxygen. So we're gonna have to make another oxygen generation room if we want to increase our duplicates, which we do. We absolutely do. All right, so one of the other things that was recommended was to start specializing people in jobs. And I kind of like that. So let's take everybody off of every job. All right. New duplicates will uh, deliver, dig, and uh, harvest, mop, repair. That's fine. Okay. Taku Samurai. I think you're going to be a cook. Mm, athletics. Yeah, you're a pretty good cook. We're going to have to have our cooks. Three dedicated cooks is probably going to be enough to keep the areas busy. Um, people are going to need breaks, though. The restroom and stuff. So, Kangaroo, Toad Slayer, Zedniak, you guys will be cooks. Kitsunopal, Stacy. Well, no. Kitsunopal's got to be an artist. Yeah, we need a dedicated artist. Um... You can do art, and you can also deliver with your athletics, and sweep, and um, yeah, everybody needs to do the massage table. That's that's a given. I don't know how I missed that. All right, Foxheart, your main job is going to be digging construction. You'll be a builder. Justin B, you'll be a builder. Wild Rage, you'll be a builder. You'll be um, dig and deliver. No, you're because you're an artist. Um, yeah. So it'll be dig, deliver, and harvest. And then Kendrith will be a builder. Sweep and harvest. Sweep and harvest. GG, you can be dig and deliver. And Keggy will be construction. You're a cook, you're a cook. Um, digging and delivering. Yeah, I guess anybody can do power except the cooks. Right, if you cook, yeah. That's all I want that. If you cook, I don't want you running on the, the hamster wheels. Oh, Karin. You'll be dig, deliver. Dig, deliver, sweep. Dig, deliver, sweep. Dig, deliver, sweep. Harvest. Uh, you'll be a builder. Builder. Dig, deliver, sweep. Yep, and we'll just go down the list here. Actually, you'll be a builder. Uh huh. Yep. 
Not a lot of not a lot of builders. How many builders do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight builders is pretty good. And then Bert X, you're pretty new here. Um did I take you for cooking and you can't cook? Oh my goodness. Well, whatever. Below seven halfling can cook. Mm. Sure, we'll let you do a little bit of everything. You too. You'll be able to... No, I don't want... Let's see. If we're going to need more builders, then we'll go back and we'll take the builders that are really strong at building. Yeah, like construction 10. Yeah. Okay, let's see how that does. That's going to make things interesting. Justin B, Kendrith. So a lot of our diggers and... No. Why would they be idle? So we have stuff here to do. So who is idle? Justin B. Okay, those are the builders. The builders are idle. Okay, fair enough. Um, well, let's queue up stuff to build then, shall we? That sounds like an easy way to solve that. Although I'm not going to, uh... Maybe... Uh... Yeah, I don't know. We're going to mess around with those jobs. I might mess around more with the jobs off camera. I don't want to spend any more time on it now, but I might tinker with it in between this episode and next episode. All right, so let's look at more building here. We'll go one, two, like this. Natural gas geyser. Interesting. Well, let's seal it up. That'll be first and foremost. And we'll go all the way down to the bottom. All the way down to the bottom. Why not? All right. And then dig. All right. Let's let everybody get to work. And we'll go two in this direction. Yes. And two in this direction going to be so much chlorine and bleachstone and all this stuff is just going to get ruptured. It'll be great. We'll put some doors in here just to help try to control the flow of things. We can mop up this. In fact, we can probably mop up that as well. Yeah, feel free to hop over there and mop that. Who's idle? Shouldn't be anyone idle. The other thing we want to do is check this area for Weezworts. Yes, yes. And potentially Wolframite. Okay. So, we're going to dig this out. And that. And we're going to dig two away from the Abyssalite there and there. Dig there and there. Probably just start shaving off some of this abyssalite here and there where it's a little excess. It's like, you don't need that much abyssalite. We could use some abyssalite, though. Oh, that whole area there. We could just punch up through there and... Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure how I want to use that section. Well, nobody's idle. That's a good sign to start. Ugh. Kangler the Toad Slayer is idle because you're a cook. Well, so you rely on the cooks running out of stuff to do. Where is this? Oh, yeah, this is up here. So we got those wheeze warts. There's more wheeze warts up here. So let's ladder up. Story or a uh, mechanical door. Yep, and then ladder up here. And dig out. Okay. Good. Now, um, let's 
go ahead and let time go by. How are we doing with the temperature here? Mm, it's getting colder. It's getting colder. So what we're going to need... So we're going to need some warm oxygen intervention. So let's go with regular non-insulated pipes. And we'll go with a vent right here. We'll make these out of copper. Sure thing. And then I think we'll uh, maybe do something similar here. Where we just kind of branch off like that. Just try to get some of this warm oxygen spread around a little bit. They're not burying themselves in that, which is a little bizarre. I would expect them to bury themselves in that. Maybe it's too warm. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see. Who's idle? One of my cooks again. Alright, so we might have one too many cooks. They're only idle for a second, but... Um, you can deliver as well. Came with a Toad Slayer. You can cook and deliver. So we're going to have sort of a... Uh, like a VIP eating area. Sort of. That's what this is going to be. Right underneath the bristleberries. And this is where all the bristleberry stuff will be done. So let's see. How did we do the eating area down here? Yeah, that's pretty fancy. We'll probably just keep it the same. Yep. And I guess... Uh, I guess it really won't be VIP at first. Let's get these air deodorizers turned up and on. Uh, right now it's just going to be overflow. Eventually this area will be designated for VIP. People that have done a good job saving someone's life, something like that, will recognize them with an assigned seat and a temporary allowance of, well, bristleberries. Wait, wait, these are all... I'm like, this doesn't look right. These are all massage tables. Oh, my goodness. I'm sure you were watching like, uh, I wonder how long it's going to take them to realize. So here we did every other, every two... 4, 8, 12, 16. We really just need a handful more. Um, I mean, eventually this colony will be able to support more than 32 people, but the extra colony is going to be borrowing some of our oxygen. Ah, uh, well. Let's just start with what we need. There's no need to plan too far ahead yet, because I want to focus on this extra colony. That's what I want to do. Right, so here we'll do a cooking station and two refrigerators. Yeah, sure, I guess that makes sense. Can we prioritize this, please? Like... Higher priority, thank you. And then we'll go ahead and we'll just piggyback right off of this wire, just like this. And then we're going to make these the new refrigerators just for stuffed berries and pinch pepper nuts. Which, oh my goodness, they're starting to warm up. What's the temperature of the water coming in? 41.8. Look at that. Starting to do its job. That's great. Will you guys not bury yourselves on that? I'm not sure why they're not doing that. Boom. That'll work. Alright. Where's the Taku Samurai? We have a hatch that is outstayed. His welcome. Let's get it down. 
Where are you at, Otaku Samurai? There you go. Oh, come on. There you go. From up on the ladder. Nice. In his fancy suit. Snazzy suit. I love it. Oh, it's biting you. That's okay. You can get him. You got this. There you go. Ugh. All right, sweep this up. There's only one refrigerator here that holds meat. Should be this one. Yep. And nobody should be able to eat meat or barbecue except the Taku Samurai. Okay, good. Just checking. Wonderful. Okay. As you were, back to business as usual. Now, let's go ahead and square up all of this. So we're going to make this match. Let's check our report and see 18 to 9. So that means these, this air in these are going to start flowing pretty regularly, which is what we want because we're, we're depending on that heat to try to balance things out here. So let's see. I think another place we can use some heat is if we just hop off of there like that. Grab a little bit of that heat. And then we'll give a granite tile there. Deconstruct that. What is this? Polluted oxygen? Yeah, yeah, sure. What? Another hatch? No, no, no. This door should be locked. Ataku Samurai? Do it. You have to put him down. We're not going to watch this one as much as we watched the last one. No, don't give up. Oh, you're going to wake up Amanda. Oh, you can do it. All right, if we kill another one, I'm going to have to give somebody else some fun. At this point. Oh, forgiveness. No forgiveness. You're going to need to go to bed soon. There you go. All right, the lights shut off. So we must be hitting the 20 degree mark right with this hot oxygen coming through here. We're keeping it fairly green so far. So far. But we're going to have to fight this at every twist and turn here. So I'm thinking we're going to need one like right here. And then we'll even need one probably here. It still looks pretty green, though, overall. Yeah, see, you can see that oxygen's coming out there at 40 degrees, hitting this cold air, kind of balancing out, keeping everything in the green. Excellent. That's what we want. Okay, this station will just make stuffed berries forever. This fridge will only hold stuffed berries, pinch of pepper nut, and bristle berries. And we're going to copy those settings here. And then down here, we're going to actually change this one to match this one. Um, well, so we need the meat to be up here as well, actually. Meat, bristle berry, stuffed berry, barbecue, copy settings, both of them. Perfect. Perfect. And that circuit should have... Uh, no, not that one. This one, 1.3 kilowatts. Um, that's not good. Are there that many lights pulling off of it? It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. It's 240 pulling off of it right there. And then that's another 240, and then 60. It still shouldn't be up to 1.3. That seems excessive. It's this one right here. That's what makes it... Uh... 
Well, we could rerun that one. But all of these are being being taxed. 840. 360, that one's not. Oh, that's just the extra scrubbers. Okay, perfect. Well, then that's the one we'll use. All right, let's go ahead and set that up. So we'll do a wire bridge here. And then this electrical wire will go up like this. No, uh, well... Hmm, so I want the wire to be somewhat out of the way, but we're a little limited on options. We could just do that, and then I'll deconstruct these. Perfect. That'll work. We'll just do that. We'll just have to continue checking on the air here. A little teal, but it's not quite chilled yet. It's still temperate. It's on the chilly side of temperate. Then you get down here. It's a little warm in here. We don't really have the water. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Let's um let's use that water a little more. About like that. Yeah, I think that's going to I think that's going to do us better. Well, so far I'm liking the new jobs. I feel like everybody's being pretty efficient. Let's mop all that up, mop up anything in there. In fact, let's sweep there, there. We need to get a lot of this stuff swept up here. There's a lot of little stuff laying around on the ground. I don't like that. We've got a new storage area. Okay, so we can finally seal this off. That's good, let's do that. Yeah, the builders. Builders are going to be busy for a bit. It's all priority five, though. The diggers should come through here as well. What am I going to do? I guess I could have built a... I'm going to need like a... Okay. It's going to be a little convoluted. Okay. So what we'll have is a door on either side of this ladder and then a door here as well to actually go in. And we'll still get some natural gas leakage, but it is what it is. With luck, it will... With luck... It'll catch down there. Yeah. Actually, let's go ahead and just take that to the next logical step. So that'll give us a buffer. In fact, if we want, we can fit an air pump there and filter stuff out. I don't think we'll need to get that crazy with it, but that's where we'll leave it. Did I not assign that many moppers? Right, so a lot of you... sweep, deliver, dig people... Dig, deliver, dig, deliver, dig, dig. No, your, your Kitsune Opal doesn't have to dig. Taku Samurai, you're really just cooking? Yeah, yeah that's, that's probably good. Um, deliver, cook, right? Deliver, dig. 
Harvest mop. Um, no, not mopping for you. Mopping for you. Kitsune Opal can mop, that's fine. You're not gonna dig, but you can mop. Mop. Liver dig, mop. Mop. Mop, mop. Yep. Yep. All of you may mop. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's get all this cleaned up here. Building lacks resources. Oh, that's, that's fine. We're going to get more bristle berries. They'll be ready for harvest soon. You can't rush it. Let's look at the daily reports. 1823, 1749, 1829, 1783. We're pretty much right on the edge. This is about 2,000 kilograms of oxygen here with this system. Now we can make a third one to go to 3,000. Probably eventually need a fourth one for 4,000. Most importantly, the temperature is staying pretty close to, well, maybe a little... It's getting... Yeah, it's... It's getting a little warm in some areas and not in others. No! Who's trapped? Oh, mushroom? Are the lavatories not functioning? Oh, mushroom just thought you could make it through bedtime no 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 mop mop it up it's gonna get it it's gonna get everybody's stress all up in a tizzy we don't want that all right clean oxygen everywhere who else made a mess what is going on here empty pipe empty pipe oh my goodness Fix those pipes like now. Please fix them. More duplicants made a mess. Oh, Nate. I'm so sorry. Let's get the pipes fixed. Um, we're not going to be accepting duplicants for now. I'm not even going to look at them. We're pretty much capped out our oxygen, believe it or not, at this stage. We're going to need more O2 generation. Alright, but let's get these pipes built at a priority 9, please. Thank you, Kangler the Toad Slayer, thank you. One more, there we go. All right, so at this point, the water's moving through. It's warmed up a little bit, but it'll be coming in colder. And that'll help fight, yeah, all the warm temperatures we had going on over there. That's good. Look at it. It's cooling everything down as we're watching. Turning it green. Wonderful. Wonderful. The whole base is starting to look green. So epic. All right, let's see how fast we're using our water, and then we're going to wrap up the episode. We've probably got a good flow rate going. Yep, the water here has cooled down. Significantly, we've got stuff turning into... No! No polluted water, no. That is not okay. Get that polluted water out of our cold, clean water cistern. And it's just bouncing this ice like crazy. Maybe sweep it up, too. Alright, clean it up. Clean it up. Can you not? Oh, that's... That's going to bother me. Nope, we're going to mop that up, too. Come on. There you go. Uh, Corey, can you not... Um, uh, Corey? Are you okay? Let's move up there. There you go. Although the water is cooling off, so I think we can go ahead and speed it up. 
I think we're going to try what was suggested in the comments and we'll try about 6.5 kilometers of water per second. And we'll see how that does us. There we go, and the water here is warming up. I like that, it's up to 42 degrees here now. That just means our pinch of pepper farm should be warm up all the way to the bank. Oh, almost all the way to the back. It's getting there. Yep, the water's just got to warm up. A few more degrees. And it'll be there. All right, and that is where we're going to wrap things up at this point. Oh, my goodness. Can we get rid of this yucky water, please? Ugh. What is going on here? It's a little crazy. We'll go ahead and dig that up. All right, well, this has been Oxygen Not Included, episode 46. Thank you so much for joining me. Polluted ice. I do hope you've had a good time watching, because as always, I have had a good time playing. So please make sure you come back next time as we get more stuff straightened out, but hopefully a lot of the uh, job stuff and the in-between managing the temperature stuff is taken care of, and we can focus on our new colony, as well as um, the logistical support for said colony, which is going to be kind of a small colony, but it's going to need support nonetheless. Until next time, though, until next time, take care.